please. I don't know what is happening here. This place is the Awoyaya route where you guys will send your people. They will come. I don't know the contractor you gave this work. You send your people. They will come and grade and scatter this road. After they scatter the road, they will leave it. You won't see them. See the kind of traffic and suffering you're causing human beings. Tomorrow you will be looking for their votes. Look at look at it here. Look at it. See road. Last man. See road. And there is you have last man who can control this. Put vehicles on the road. Nobody is doing anything. Every morning, every day, see 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 human lives. Do you know the hell the health cost of this kind of problem? Bam. Do you know the high blood pressure negotiations are suffering? Uh huh. Uh, uh, Mr. Sowolu, uh -huh. please, I am begging you, the contractor that is handling this project, uh -huh. they are come to their Woyaya area she and knows. scatter road and see the kind of thing. Look at the nonsense. Look at the nonsense. 2023, you come for the votes of people. You are giving this guy high blood pressure. Uh huh. Every single day. Uh -huh. Who is the contractor? Uh -huh. What they want? Only road, see road. No, only road. Uh -huh. Look at this. Look at this. Everywhere. Uh huh. See road. Negotiations. Send this video. Let it go viral. Very good. Mr. Sonwalu. Uh -huh. See road. See road. Uh huh. Please, Mr. Governor, call the contractor. Uh -huh. We are suffering. Uh -huh. We are really suffering. Yes, that's all. What is the problem? Mm -hmm. All right, thanks for staying with us. <clears throat> Referencing a Punch article from 2017, lawlessness re reigns on Nigerian roads. Now, evidence of this uh, reality is provided daily on major highways and cities. When the Lagos Ibadan Express uh, was locked down for an entire day, the main reason was not just the bad portions of the road ongoing constructions and broken down vehicles or religious activities. It was also caused by the manic drivers driving against traffic unchallenged, um, despite a multiplicity of members of law enforcement agencies. Now, yesterday we talked about Lagos State uh, Government auctioning off impounded vehicles and touched a bit on um, Undukwe's whose vehicle was um, impounded by the Lagos State Government for flouting traffic laws. Today we're still on that topic of lawlessness in Nigeria and we're asking, is it possible, right, that we can actually curb lawlessness? But this time around, we want to look at it from someone that has also, um, what's it called, been part of a government system. Now, please, Let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 803 You can also tweet at us at Weisho Africa 1 with a hashtag Weisho. I'll bring in um, Oladide Oduyo in a minute. But, Lady, you were not here yesterday. And you had an opinion about the conversation. You know, what are your thoughts? Do you think it is possible for us to rise above lawlessness? Now, given that this video, yeah. this one, this lawlessness is on the part of government themselves. Mm -hmm. Because I don't understand why you bring in excavators. Mm -hmm. To um, what's it called, assume, and you are not holding your contractors to account. Bearing in mind that this particular road, this road, is only one road. There's no, there's no. You can't have, you can't have ex, like um, options. Mm -hmm. Lagos Expressway is just one way, and once you are there, you are locked in there. If anything happens, I mean, I told you of one time I saw a man. They carried him. Four people had to carry him. One hand, one leg, one leg, um, like that, to take him to the hospital. Because he was, I think he had passed out. Because there's no, there's there's no, no way even way to, to get out of the traffic. Mm. But let me hear your thoughts quickly. Is it possible for us to be able to curb lawlessness in Nigeria? I say yes. And the reason I say yes is I was old enough and wise enough to see what happened when we were under the war against indiscipline era with um, Buhari, I believe. Mm. And people conformed. Like what he said yesterday, and without wasting too much time consequences without using draconian rules let the punishments be you know commensurate with the offense and then make sure people are getting the consequences immediately when everybody starts getting punished everybody will conform will conform okay let me we will get read daniel's message from yesterday it says good evening mm. my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying it says can lawlessness be curbed in nigeria the answer is yes. According to Sister Oti, on the other hand, the truth is that being lawless is in our DNA. Anyone that is lawless should be made to face the music. 
this was from Daniel Elo yesterday. Mm -hmm. But yes. Norma, quickly. Yeah. You, do you are you still standing on that fact that it is possible? I mean, when you give up, so the thing is, there's a bit of dynamism in all of this. Mm -hmm. There's a mixture. So if we are having lawlessness just on the part of one party, mm -hmm. maybe it's easy. But now this thing comes from all party. There's a part the government plays. There's a part that the citizens play. There's a part that you know people are supposed to be taking care of, like contractors and all of that. They they, they have their role. So it's very complicated. So that's why I'm I'm wondering. So who's going to check who? Yeah, thing, I mean, I mean <laughs> yesterday we established that if the lawmakers or the law enforcers themselves mm -hmm. are not held accountable, mm -hmm. they can then there's chaos everywhere. Absolutely. Everybody's going to be uh, affected one way or the other. Mm -hmm. The important thing is that, like I mentioned yesterday, that humanity. I don't agree with Daniel that it's in our DNA. It was learned behavior. True. And we've True. learned this behavior over a period of time. Mm -hmm. It would take us on learning this misbehavior and learning how to do things properly. When we put humanity in what we're doing, it's not just about us citizens. No, no, no. no. I mean, no, no, no. Anyway, if you're no, 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 no. I'm talking go ahead, go ahead. about we human beings. Mm. If you know the right thing to do and you're considering your next neighbor, mm. then you will do things properly. Okay. But mm -hmm. if at the end of the day you choose not to, you will also know that there is law, there, uh, there are enforcers, and you nobody is above the law. And you will see Pepe. I'm going bring in our guest, right? Olaji De Oduyoye is a friend of the house and was a former GM of Lagos State Traffic Management Authority, LASMA. And he's really? currently the MD CEO <laughs> of a House of Transport System. And he's joined us live in studio. We're super excited. And he got to the having... memo. And he got the memo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Ah, so where do we start from? Yes. This conversation there is endless because like every single time there is anything going on on our road, it's almost like a complete lockdown. And I remember saying yesterday that it's, it's like our um, law enforcement agencies, right? Mm -hmm. They actually derive pleasure mm -hmm. in seeing the chaos because that's the only way they know that some people will get some loose knots of their their head you can and make then money bring make laws money. and then they now eventually generate that as revenue generation yep, but yep. hey this is the question is it possible for us to get to that point in nigeria where we begin to curb lawlessness especially on our roads is it possible you've been there they've almost jammed you before <laughs> no, not that they've jam him now, not right? that they've almost they actually jammed you twice wow sent to hospital wow in fact i was convinced i was good that was the end wow that was how bad the impact was um mm. but the point is yes it is possible to curb lawlessness mm. but right now um i was at a conference today um online publishers for um security network supporting um, enforcement officers so I would term what is going on if I was to write a book mm -hmm. just like my sister was just saying we are all guilty mm -hmm. the government is guilty the people are guilty mm -hmm. those who are given the powers or the opportunity to enforce the laws are guilty mm -hmm. now let's start and begin to break things down in critical mode um, in the 60s 70s early 80s Every family was an enforcer. If you find a young lady dressing badly on mm -hmm. the street, mm -hmm. every parent had a right to tell her off. They you knew your parents. Yeah. Even if Not they your knew, parents. They were any saying, parent. Even if they didn't know they Any parent. Them. So you had police everywhere. All right? So every move you made, there's someone policing you. You go to secondary school, you're being policed. Mm -hmm. All right? So we had... Or an acceptable behavioral character mm -hmm. then. But things have changed. And it's all like, oh, I've traveled to the United Kingdom, to the United States, don't touch my child. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm a 19, 1990s parent, all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. So the lawlessness have just crept up, increased over the period. That is now behavioral pattern. Mm -hmm. Like you said, it's not in our DNA. Mm -hmm. We just, do, you, you, do you know that there are some Nigerians they will save up money. They live abroad, mm. right? They will save up money and come to Nigeria for holiday, honestly speaking, just to come and break laws. Mm. Because mm. those same things that are breaking, they cannot ever try right. it over where they are. And that is the truth. 
they have enough money to say at the end of the day oh, mm -hmm. na money go na money go chopper mm -hmm. so that is what is inside because we have taken this place like no man's land when I say this place, I mean the whole country. It's not mm -hmm. just about Lagos. Of course, it's Before the anybody country. starts saying, yes. or oh, is it because of Lagos, whatever. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. So what it is, right, the government now, they are guilty of negligence. Mm -hmm. And I will say that because I was in there. The government is not acting like they really care about the people. They pretend sometimes that they have. And I'll give an example of, let's just say, the roads. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have the Lagos Express Road. It's the only outlet from all the major um, estates that are coming up there. Mm -hmm. Now, there are two things. So you need to improve the road condition to make it okay for the people that will apply the road. Otherwise, okay. it deteriorates, 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 mm -hmm. whatever. Absolutely. So there's a catch 22 situation. So the government, instead of trying to do the right thing in a proper way to accommodate the usage, the government wants to appear politically righteous mm. and mm. sort of make a big fanfare, grand, yeah. grand fanfare. Well, where, when I say they are not responsible is that the government does not see itself as servants. Mm. The government sees itself as facilitators, as if doing that road, paying for them, make sure it's okay, it's as if like they're doing the That's people a favor. And that is the wrong approach. Mm. You see, when you do a good thing as government, any which way, mm. right? Your thank you would come with me whichever way. It's your you job. don't yes. Because you're a public servant. Yes. And the money that is being spent is not your father's money. Mm. I refuse to say thank you to any government because you've repaired roads, because mm. you've done hospitals. So what exactly are you doing there? Whose money are you spending? So we've gone into this situation where we, we give too much reference to government people. And that is why they sit down and they lack like, oh, the people, they should be thankful. They should be grateful. That, grateful and thankful that we're even doing the road. Mm -hmm. So instead of making sure that you and the contractor are locked in an agreement, that the funding is there, you can guarantee, because you know if the falters, it's going to affect the people. Mm -hmm. So if you know you cannot afford to repair this road, don't start don't it. Don't start it. Mm -hmm. And come up openly and tell the people that you serve. Listen, we would love to do this thing, but, but we cannot afford now. it. Be open and transparent. Explain to them. Talk to them. So even if the road is still manageable, they know that you're saving up. Now, in the next two years, right, it will be done. And then the money is sorted out there. But if you're waiting for allocation, you're waiting for oil price to go up, you're waiting for some, which is the way budgeting goes sometimes. Mm -hmm. The point is, what is the risk factor analysis that if this money does not come in, how does it affect this thing? Mm -hmm. So you've got to weigh these things, right? So right now, the people like that gentleman, he just saw the pain. He doesn't understand what is going on. He's pointing fingers at a contractor that he does not know. Mm -hmm. He's pointing fingers to government that he has not seen. Never All right? And even with there's a problem, what he was saying is like, he's looking for enforcement agencies to control the traffic and he can't find them. Mm -hmm. That's another bit there where the contractor goes They're out on a public highway, does not There's understand no the pain of the people. Mm -hmm. So when he's to supposed to pay, when he's supposed to pay and implement traffic management system, mm. traffic management system means you're talking to the users of the mm. road. Mm -hmm. They know that between this time and this time, I'm going to be there. I'm going to restrict mm. a three lanes to two lanes so you can plan your journey. They don't bother. It's only when you come out on the road that then you stop. And then oh, they nice. do all that dodgy, 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 dodgy. Mm. They won't pay last month. They won't do nothing. So last month is going to say, ah, <laughs> oh boy, you've collected billions for this thing now. Mm. We had a meeting that we we're going to be there. Mm. You said you're going to pay for this to buy cones, to mm -hmm. buy signs, to do all these things. And then you renegade on that and you don't pay nothing. Oh. And then you expect last month to come out in the middle of the night in the rain in this weather mm. to come and suffer. And then by the time he's done, when the work is done, guess what the contractor is going to do? He's going to make you come and beg him and his whatever support from the government system mm. to beg to pay the person that has suffered all night, left his children at home and wife to do this work. And so this has happened over the years. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no trust and there's no work in between the two. Let's take a very short break. This one, you just opened the can of worms. Stay with us. We'll be right back. All 
All right, thanks for staying with us now. If you just tuned in, we're discussing the topic, part two, can lawlessness be curbed in Nigeria? And we have with us Oduyo Ye uh, Olajide. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-4663. You can also tweet at us at Weisho Afka, one with the hashtag Weisho. Lady had a question. Yes. You remember that when you said last night, I moved. And I was like, oh, is that where he's from? <laughs> now, I'm thinking you were there in 2019. I think we are saying the same stories that we said back then. Could you enlighten me about what you were able to achieve in your term? Differently. Well, I'll tell you something, right? Um, we need to have an understanding of how government works and government agencies. Mm. Um, how I was able to was very difficult, and the sole reason is I got into an agency where all its officers mm. are employed through the civil service system. And in a nutshell, even as the GM of that agency, I didn't have a single power to employ or to sack anyone. That's a shame. All right? And um, that being the case, there are officers that have been there for 15, 20, 25 years. So, go, no, so, come. Come. so um, <laughs> unfortunately, some of them saw me as an outsider mm -hmm. and as the enemy that wanted to come and make a change mm -hmm. to the system that they've been used to. Mm -hmm. yes. um, it's so bad, so much, that even the hierarchy started saying, oh, Jide Oluyibu, GM Oluyibu. That meant, like, I'm trying to bring changes to the system, foreign. a foreign mm -hmm. thing, yeah, and I don't understand how it's going on. And so it brings us back to this lawlessness thing, that when I say we are all guilty, mm -hmm. we have a set of people in this our environment that they are enjoying the chaos. Mm -hmm. You see, because if there's no chaos, all right, and if the roads are nice and clean, and the road markings are there, and all the traffic signs that are supposed to be there are there, there, there will be less general revenue generation yeah. robberies no, there'll be there'll be less infractions of okay. traffic law yeah because That's people now will be aware and they will be because the purpose of a sign is to talk to me and tell me what you would like me to do mm -hmm. all right but if that is missing you're not leaving it to me to interpret to what i'm supposed to do mm -hmm. yes. then if you're an agency who is just there to come and grab and to punish because the person who has employed you has given you the authority or the power or the avenue to do that then you're waiting and locking in the shadows waiting for me to make error and then you pounce mm -hmm. now that is not public service mm -hmm. so when i was there trying to change that i was still still but i had to do my job i was i mean i don't like to use i but what i did then Part of what you're asking is, mm -hmm. any officer or any report that we got or that I got of someone oppressing a motorist, you know, like they're unaware and everything, mm -hmm. once I investigate and I found you wanting as an officer, the first thing is if there's any money that has changed hands, you must return double of that money. Mm. Okay. I was able to do that within the authority, since I know I'm not going to be able to sack you, because really, that is a sackable offense, oh, all right? Yes. But the process of sacking a, an officer who is politically connected mm. is a long thing, let's be honest, all right? Mm. But I, I return that money. And so that was gathering uh, formation like, ah, that GM, if you collect money, I will report you. you. So that changed a bit. Mm -hmm. But then I was still the enemy, mm. all right? So, and I can just imagine in every other areas of work agencies if you go there to go and change that you're not part of the political system you're not part of the elite political system you're really on your own and that is why lawlessness is that's why even in the building industry in the permit industry i tell you what, how do you have a corridor mm. you don't have different access to road in case there are emergencies mm. and then you're given one part of government is giving permit to supermarkets to banks to these yeah. without adequate off street parking spaces whatever mm -hmm. and then you're not putting in the traffic management system to, to accommodate cater to cater for all that mm -hmm. how does that work so so because if i hear you correctly i want to come to norma because it seems like the entire structure of nigeria as a body is structured to thrive in lawlessness because if i hear you correctly yes that's what i'm seeing it is yeah. and there's one major factor it is oppression Mm. We scream a lot about slavery of black people. We scream a lot about um, people using um, discrimination for what part of the country you're from. But I'm telling you, there's something that is worse than lawlessness 
inside us as we speak now, mm. we enjoy oppressing all each other Thank in you. whichever yes. way. Mm. Yes. The way some people drive and use police escorts to just, it's oppression. Mm. It is. Psychologically, you're affecting, you're telling me that I am not worthy mm. to be on the road so that when you come with a policeman, escort, whatever, I should kill. And what are you driving? Because you're driving, you're driving um, a, G a 570 or G wagon. <laughs> and then you put, you put your flashers Sorry, on man. and then you cover your plate number with black leather mm. in and this that, same environment. But well, some of them would say superior. that they are unsafe and that's why they're using these things. They but then you are also asking the question that if things were done right, yeah. we would not have need for such display Absolutely. in the first place. You are very right. So how can we start doing things properly by face, if we're going to make any headway? By facing the truth. And I tell you, the truth is difficult to face if you're looking at yourself individually. I take myself, for example, if I'm looking to gain a political appointment, for mm, example, yes. right, it would be difficult for me to come into this kind of space mm. and be talking the way I'm talking. You're going to be talking different. Yes, I'm going to have to no, be. No, I'm no. going to have to be yeah, very. Be I'm going to have to be very quiet. Diplomatic. I'm not going to say anything against <laughs> the government. There's no way I'm going to even tell the government that they're guilty. Mm. But you see, the government people have forgotten that they're human beings like the four of us. They've forgotten that at one point in time they were not there. Mm. They didn't have that position, and, and at one point there. they wouldn't be there. They, they they keep on forgetting that. According to a because nobody me. was born <laughs> with any title, even the Mr. and Mrs you were not born with it absolutely right and so we need to shift away from that fear factor mm -hmm. of what you're going to get you see without sacrifice you can't make a game all right so we need to start championing the truth amongst ourselves mm -hmm. we are oppressors government people oppress everybody else downfall drivers because they are politically connected they mm. you see the way they drive and behave yes it's not because they are not afraid it's because they have powers that support them and last one doesn't so see they them oppress no they don't see them mm. last one will come is wearing uniform Especially in he probably he probably doesn't even know the traffic law that he's trying to put at that particular <laughs> time because it's there he too is oppressing yes. see my uniform yes policeman comes he slaps you first Mm. And you hold, and you think, hey, what is like me? It feels like he can get away with it. Why would a, a corporal, someone who does not have O level There's certificate, backing. will come and slap someone with a PhD? Could I ask you this, please? <laughs> Why did they bring you in if they wouldn't let you do the job? Because they do that a lot to save face. I know. So in the beginning, it was like, oh, you know, they've done well, right. they put the right, the right peg in the right hole, mm. everything was fine and everything. And so the chances are like, um, I would just probably just toe the line okay. of the way just, just I really more like I should be grateful because mm. number one, I'm not from Lego State, <clears throat> so I shouldn't feel like it's my entitlement because not. Mm. And so I really should just be shaking and be shaking, shaking. But I wasn't <laughs> looking at that. I was just looking at, like kind of I couldn't person. bring myself to know that I'm a public servant. And the things I'm doing is against the same public that I'm supposed to serve. Yeah. I just couldn't no phantom that. No integrity whatsoever. Yeah. And obviously that is a conflict among certain people who are born oppressors, who feel Lagos is a place where any small offense or whatever, instead of educating the mm. person, mm -hmm. you just you punish. Right? There was one video that went viral that um, someone had gone, when we were repairing Third Midland Bridge, right? Mm. The guy had missed his way, he, he missed the timing. So he had to drive against traffic between that shift over yes. between the southbound mm -hmm. and the northbound mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. And then I thought it was so I chased after him. When I stopped him, I was asking him, what have you done, whatever? And his excuse like the car broke down. So the time factor caught in. How is that how so he this? couldn't go this way. He had to go back that way. All right. And the next thing now, someone that was older than me, was now prostrating on the, on the, on the ground. Mm. Now for, for me, for anyone to go that low, low mm. to do that, it means like you're sorry from inside of you. Mm. Mm. And, I'm, and I'm like, I just educated him and I told him to go. But wait, now let me bring a comment that we got yesterday. Because hmm. this is a big matter. You go chop. You see, in my opinion, one of the biggest bane of our lawlessness mm. as is the presence is the use of this word a beg as a people check most uh, you uh, most that use the word lawlessness and corruption is always present with them you know you're driving anyhow gra, gra, gra. you now finally jam my car 
Jama. You now come and lie down prostrate on the floor. Hey, Jama. Hey, Jama. He says, to the extent that some foreign immigrants have to print, please, no, I beg, before you enter their country. Mm. Right? Imagine banning the word I beg from our vocabulary. Maybe sanity may begin um, in the country. This was from a comment from yesterday, Benson. Because what you just said now, mm. alluding to the fact that, oh, an elderly person coming to lie down, because this is also what i'll bring it back to what we what even started this conversation of the pdp president uh, gubernatorial candidate and um, his Who deputy visit? visiting one of the people that his cars were, was impounded that mm -hmm. went to jail mm -hmm. because he infringed a traffic law mm -hmm. almost like um endorsing that it was okay that's the impression you understand yeah. no, that, that's the thing you yeah, were endorsing his actions yes. because he suffered a loss he's gonna do it again yes so because we are or so somebody else will not yeah we are so so that is not empathy right that is you um accommodating and uh, encouraging lawlessness. lawlessness so when you use that word i beg and somebody comes and lies down and whatever how does that how would it ever you know, Change. translate into people actually doing the right thing. When I know I can just beg you and I we will be able to go further. Please Shouldn't before, we start to look more into, it. yes, I accept your apology, but, but you still need to... There are laws that you must, you must... Yeah. Consequences. Consequences, yeah. Yes. So before you answer, I wanted to say about the oppression thing that someone was saying, people use uh, the policemen and everything because they feel unsafe. I think they feel unsafe because of the games they play with one another. Absolutely. Number one. Because if the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom can ride bicycle yep. and get on the underground, it's, it's because of what you know you're doing wrong. Exactly. The king went that is making up. you afraid. If I didn't do anything wrong, or I'm not trying to kill somebody for a position, why should I be afraid to walk in the streets? And then again, database being well put in place so that we can send fines to people's homes without even accosting them on the road. Putting CCTV, this would all take everything away. But the reason why they don't invest the money is someone has chopped that money. I'm sure they've released the funds for such things more than once in this country. But knowing who we are, somebody has chopped it. And the more they find the funds coming their way, they won't let it go the right way because those funds stop when the thing is sorted once and for all. I, I think there's a conflict um, because someone would ask, like, what right has the government got to... Um, punish a road offender mm -hmm. for certain things, especially like maybe let's look at um, bad driving, mm -hmm. um, driving against wrong, traffic, against traffic thing. So somebody will come and say, okay, you go to an area like Festock mm. or your jaw area, mm. yeah. and your own side of the road is so bad. Mm. Like, you know, if you go there, you're not coming back, mm. except maybe you're driving SUV with giant wheels, all right? <laughs> and so you're forced to go to this side. Mm. Sometimes enforcement officers would allow you to do that, but there's no sign of um, consistency. Mm. So next time you just assume that since I was allowed to last to week, to, to, I can do it. Mm. So there's all these things going. That's why I said about the irresponsibility it's not clear. of, part of, of, government of government to clearly communicate. To communicate. What you said, Ibadan, <clears throat> horrible. Yes. No sign. None whatsoever. You must communicate. You must tell me mm. when it is okay or not okay, not okay, whichever way. And you must invest in it. Because if you do not invest in talking to the motorists, you do not have the any right moral to right come to them. come and punish me. Yes. And yes, I agree, we must eradicate this begging thing. And the begging thing comes because someone hit my car and the thing you're begging. Begging for what? Begging and then all that nonsense of like, you're bigger than, please don't talk to me about my bigger than anything. Mm. Because someone like me, I, I, I look after my clothes. So mm. I have clothes of 10 years. And it will still look good. I have not bought it in the last two years because I don't have money to buy new ones. Mm. So because you're looking at me, you've already assessed like, oh, this one is big money. Big money. Yeah. No, I don't have money because you don't have access to my account. Mm. Now you're supposed to have insurance. We just the exchange details. The least you have is on. third party. I am third party. I, it All right? covers you. Yes, it covers me. So you hit my car. Why do you want me to go and use my money to pay to for what you've car. done? It's mm. a bad situation for us. And it, you know what it is? It's still the same oppression. Mm. Mm. Even the poor oppresses we'll others to, any yes. opportunity and use emotional then we use that and guess what they're going to say, say oh with. then you now first someone say hey shabby don't beg you yeah. oh that my good me. name <laughs> shabby will, shabby will, and i've been begging him but when they beg him you're and begging you know, me? Again, yeah you're all yourself too much now what do you want to carry and go now thank you 
our DJ. So we have issues, mm. but there, you see, but if we do not insist on our rights, mm. and you're right, if you keep on accepting, begging, 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 we're not going to get it right. People Absolutely. will continue to be. That is why the downfall drivers behave the way they behave Absolutely. because they can get away with all sorts of nonsense and nobody wants wahala that's why when they form five lanes out of two mm -hmm. everybody's giving them way mm -hmm. my, my wife even fights with me like just leave them you can't change the country mm -hmm. but somebody must well, make a stand what i did one day very briefly on that road that oniru road that leads from um, four points to the Oniru market. Yes. You know it's two lanes. That's and right. And there's some side streets coming in. Mm -hmm. So normally when you're coming out to do, join the road, you do a swing. Yes. A swing rather. Uh -huh. To avoid this lane. So they caught themselves in the lane that they weren't supposed to be. Right. And because they had obstructed the people that were going the right way, mm -hmm. they refused to move back. Now, I don't have authority, but this is where Nigerians have to start taking laws Take into their responsibility. Hands. As tiny as I am, I got down and told the guy that was in the wrong, reverse. He was looking at me at first, like Wait, what? This? reverse, and then the person that owned the lane was trying to accommodate me wrong. I said, stay where you are. It is your right. Reverse. As God will have it, as the angels of heaven will back me. me I'm telling you, because that's all I saw it to be. Military men came down. Mm -hmm. I started slapping the face of the man that I told to reverse. That was so it was a case of yeah. somebody backed me up. But Nigerians have to start doing it for one another. I said we're oppressive human mm. beings. And How exactly you what you're it? saying is like, let's just say somebody's forming a third lane. Mm. And I'm in the right lane, okay? So I've shifted a little bit here mm. to stop him from continuing to do that. Mm -hmm. And guess what? The person who is behind me, who is like this wrong thing, instead of supporting, mm -hmm. guess what he's going to try to do? He's going to try and overtake me and take my space in front yes. and leave me in limbo. To be, to be certain that. To look like a fool. Since you are the one that knows what to, you want to well, change. We are not okay. Oh. Ah, <laughs> we are not okay. I, that's the I think a core takeaway is yes. education. Yes. We need to Constant. continue to yes. enlighten. Let's take a do we have okay. a second to My, ask him what he suggests we can do in training us? So let's quickly no. take the comments and okay. he will wrap up with that. Curbing question. lawlessness in Nigeria must be a deliberate effort of the leadership to make citizens the real owners of the entity Nigeria. Today leaders in Nigeria are like emperors loading on their subjects. Mm -hmm. Is it loading or loading? Loading. 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 loading on their... You see, I was told just for a second. Loading on their subjects with impunity. Because my mother see me... You think that's bad English? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So, Bobby Kennedy from Jalingo says, the issue of lawlessness in Nigeria once again can be curbed. The government are the major culprits and government Soolu or governor Soolu should know that he is still going to contest in the next elections. I'm just wondering what he is going to tell the people. Anyone found wanting should be dealt with severely. And else, or else, we are doomed. Great one tonight. And then we have this one from Daniel. And he says, good evening, my dear beautiful sisters. Of what are you saying? Hashtag ways. Can lawlessness be curbed in Nigeria? We can curb it with the help of ourselves and total cooperation. So, Ua, I don't know why you had to apologize for not reading my comments yesterday. It was not your fault. There was no time, and I understood perfectly. You have never ignored my comments before. The ladies of ways are just Lawful simply citizen. the best. Oh. One love and Lawful shout. Citizen. Oh, thank you, Daniel. <laughs> thank you, Daniel. But you know, the thing is, you are always very consistent. So that yes. was why I had to apologize. We, to we love you. you. We you look know. forward to seeing you one of these days. Amen. So, I mean, the question like they asked, right, and to wrap up with what Norma was saying. Mm. So if we really want to start to make a change, make a change where would be a good place to start? We have like barely two minutes. Um, I think communication and education of the oh, public, absolutely. transparency, oh. because there's lack of trust. Um, I was telling the police formation today um, when they're saying, oh, can citizens help them in gathering information and everything? I said, well, yes, they can, but that's if they trust you. Uh -huh. And what's the trust that if I give you information and you're you supposed to keep me anonymous, I need to be <laughs> sure that you're going to keep me anonymous. Otherwise, I'm not going to offer you anything. Absolutely. All right? So we need to trust the people that say they are government. Mm. Like, are you, are you real? Are you for mm. me? It's your yes, yes. Okay. Are you pretending or you're just saying this just so to, 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 exactly. Mm. Are you, uh, do you mean well? Do you mean are you doing me a favor well? or you're just doing your job? Mm. I must trust that. 
And once we begin to educate ourselves and try to see the implications of what we do, mm. then that will change. But you see, the people must also understand that for every oppressive behavior inside you, to another person that calls themselves Nigerian, it means you do not love your country because the mm. country is about the people that says, I am Nigerian. Yeah. There is no geographical boundary that can be held or changed by any human being. Absolutely. But the people are the ones that are Nigerian. For every day you oppress me, you don't love your country. You so do don't not. come and lie to me that you're a patriot or whatever. Love is as a long as you're chancing, you're oppressing, yeah. and you're trying to emulate someone that has not had the opportunity that you have. Absolutely. Mm. On that note, <laughs> see why we love him and he's a oh, friend of the yeah, house. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And for every time we call him, he's always present. Thank you so thank much. You're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, do you, yay. Now, thank you, ladies, Nama and Lady. See that I'm smiling. Namaste. I want Namaste. Peace. Peace. Want peace. <laughs> if only go follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, everywhere at Wayshow Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and most importantly, Follow all our engagements on social media, like, share, invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed today's quote, here it is again. Injustice and lawlessness is the greatest terror a government can ever enforce on its own people. <sighs> we can't say it better than this. We'll see you guys live at 8 p.m. tomorrow as a ladies' night as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well.